Good afternoon. It is 1.30 p.m. on Friday the 12th of May, the fifth week of Easter, the general theme of the Mass readings, the disciples will suffer persecution as Jesus did. You'll have heard these already. You'll be hearing more because next week, Thursday, is the ascension of Jesus. Um, I'll begin with one or two prayers. I still have a chill from sitting, waiting for a bus. We have to be careful when we're old that we don't sit around out in the cold. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael for all of us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And prayer for life. O Mary, bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living. To you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, O mother, on the vast numbers of babies not allowed to be born, of the poor whose lives are made difficult, of men and women who are victims of brutal violence, of the elderly and the sick killed by indifferent or out of misguided mercy. Grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life with honesty and love to the people of our time. Obtain for them the grace to accept that gospel as a gift ever new, the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives and the courage to bear witness to it resolutely in order to build together with all people of goodwill the civilization of truth and love to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. And in temptation, Lord, save me or I perish. Keep me close to you by your grace or I shall sin and fall away from you. Jesus, help me. Mary, help me. My holy angel, watch over me. And in trouble, in all things, may the most holy, the most just, and the most lovable will of God be done, praised and exalted above all for ever. Your will be done, O Lord, your will be done. The Lord has given, the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And in sickness and pain, Lord, your will be done. I take this for my sins. I offer up to you my sufferings, together with all that my Saviour has suffered for me. And I beg you, through his sufferings, to have mercy on me. Free me from this back pain and this cold and all those listeners who are ill, if you will. And if it be for my good, you love me too much to let me suffer, unless it be for my good. Therefore, O Lord, I trust myself to you. Do with me as you please, in sickness and in health. I wish to love you always. And prayer for priests. Father, you have appointed your Son, Jesus Christ, eternal High Priest, 
guide those he has chosen to be ministers of word and sacrament and help them to be faithful to fulfilling the ministry they have received. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. And the reading before reading sacred scripture. Open my heart, O Holy Spirit, to receive your inspired word. Grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me and strength of will to follow wherever you lead. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is an optional memorial in the church with Saints Nerus and Achilles, martyrs, and also Saint Pancras, martyr. So the first reading will be taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, verses 22 to 31. And the, t and the theme will be it has been decided by the Holy Spirit and ourselves not to saddle you with any burden beyond these essentials. Then the apostles and elders decided to choose delegates to send to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas the whole church concurred with this. They chose Judas, known as Barnabas, and Silas, both leading men in the brotherhood, and gave them this letter to take with them. The apostles and elders, your brothers, send greetings to the brothers of pagan birth in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia, we hear that some of our members have disturbed you with their demands and have unsettled your minds. They acted without any authority from us and so we have decided unanimously to elect delegates and to send them to you with Barnabas and Paul, men we highly respect who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accordingly, we are sending you Judas and Silas, who will confirm by word of mouth what we have written in this letter. It has been decided by the Holy Spirit and by ourselves not to saddle you with any burden beyond these essentials. You are to abstain from food sacrificed to idols, from blood from the meat of strangled animals, and from fornication. Avoid these, and you will do what is right. Farewell. The party left and went down to Antioch, where they summoned the whole community, read it and were delighted with the encouragement it gave them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is 56 and your response will be, I thank you, Lord, among the peoples. I thank you, Lord, among the peoples. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready, I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake Lyra and harp, I will awake the dawn. Response I will thank you Lord among the peoples. I will thank you Lord among the peoples, praise you among the nations, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. 
response. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I call you friends, says the Lord. Because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Chapter 15, verses 18 to 21. Glory to you, O Lord. And the theme, what I command you is to love one another. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment, love one another. As I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I shall not call you servants any more, because a servant does not know his master's business. I Call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my Father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last, and then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You've heard a lot of these readings recently even, and you hear a lot more because of the ascension. Jesus is very aware that he's going to ascend and that will be next Thursday, is Ascension Day. And then we prepare for Pentecost when he sends the Holy Spirit down. So we'll reflect today, Friday, fifth week of Easter, on John 15, verses 12 to 17. We all value friendship. I don't know how many friends you've got, but I, I have got a few because of the busy busyness I, I I keep the few that I already had before I came on this journey of um, recording I haven't increased very much because you have to maintain a friendship you have to be with them or talk to them chat to them message them phone them email all these different modern ways you have to maintain the friendship you, because love is love, you have to show love and continue to do so. And we all value friendship, I most certainly do. And we have a deep need to befriend someone and to be befriended by someone. And also, if you haven't had, you've lost a mother through death or something, it, you always, always also want to be mothered. <laughs> Or fathered, maybe. I mean, I still miss my father, and he died 19th of December 1973, but I miss him still as much as ever. So, 
and, it, and sometimes you're friends with your family, your father, your mother, and you know, as well as other people who are friends. It's like when a couple are married, they regard one another as their closest friend, and the marriage is likely to be happy and to last if they're friends first. And friendship is a form of love that everyone can experience. I mean, you can be friends with religious, and it's like family love, and it's, it's just wonderful because you have Christ in common. Whether married or not, we need friends. The Jewish scriptures, especially the wisdom books, have a lot to say about friendship. It is regarded there as a gift from God. According to the book of Sirach, Sirach, faithful friends are a sturdy shelter. Whoever finds one has found a treasure. It is out of this Jewish tradition of the value of friendship that Jesus says to his disciples in today's gospel reading, I call you friends. Jesus declares there that he expressed his friendship for his disciples, for all of us, in two ways. He has befriended us by giving us his life, laying down his life for us. He has also befriended us by revealing to us what is deepest and most precious to him, his love and knowledge of God his Father. And he says, I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Excuse me, my nose has still got a cold. I'm sorry, I apologise. The Lord has befriended each one of us. He has chosen each one of us. And he says, you did not choose me. No, I chose you. We have been befriended by the Lord, chosen by him out of love. In any human friendship, Two people have to keep choosing one another. If only one person chooses the other, but is not chosen in return, the friendship will die. I mean, I have sadness in my heart that when I went away for ten years, I lost touch with two very close friends, that, uh, and I've never found them again. Or like even from childhood. When I moved back to Norfolk, I thought that I would meet some of my former convent school friends, but I haven't met one. I haven't even met anyone I was friends with except a very old lady who knew me from when I was a really small child. I mean, small, small. And yes, she's still alive. She's not far off a hundred. Bless her. So I, I did link with her, but I've lost touch since she's been put in a care home because I... The different things, I haven't been able to get there enough. I've been, but not enough times. So friends are important. And that's not the case with the Lord's friendship of us. He continues to choose us, even when we do not choose him. Yet he wants us to choose him, and he waits for us to do so. The question the risen Lord addressed to Peter is addressed to us all. Do you love me? If we answer yes to that question as Peter did, the Lord will ask us to live out our love of him by loving one another as he has loved us, by befriending one another as he has befriended us. So I will do some prayers. Uh, I haven't selected any. Um, I think I'll reach over and get an old prayer book, uh, everyday prayer book, because um, it's good. Oh, I've, I've gone down lower now, then never mind. <laughs> the, I've, I've made myself go 
shorter than ever. <laughs> Sorry about that. The, the cushions that I sit on, I've just seemed to have moved them from sitting on them <laughs> with standing up. I don't know. They might have just disappeared to my back, which is okay. So I will select some prayers from here. Um, because there'll, there'll be ones that you haven't heard because I haven't... Um, I've typed these up, but I have not um, uh, used this prayer book live or here. Um, acceptance of death is for all of us because none of us know when we're going to die. Oh my God, I accept my death when it will come as an act of honour and adoration which I owe to you, my creator. I accept it as a punishment due to me for my sins, in union with the death of Jesus Christ for me on the cross, and as the only way and means I can come to you, my beginning and my last end. Amen. And before confession, for those of you considering to go to confession. O most merciful God, I humbly thank you for all your mercies to me. I thank you for having been so patient with me and for waiting so lovingly for me in spite of my many sins. It is through your mercy that I have not fallen into even greater sin. Through your love, I have been given this chance of going to confession to seek forgiveness of all my sins. O oh my God, help me to make a good confession. Help me to make this confession as well as though I knew I was going to die in one hour's time. Help me to remember my sins. Help me to be sorry for them and to make my mind never to sin again. Help me to be sorry for them and to make up my mind never to sin again. Help me to tell them to the priest. Strengthen my faith so that I realize that when the priest says the words of absolution, all my sins are all forgiven by you. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for me that I may make a good confession. My holy guardian angel and all the angels and saints pray for me that I may make a good confession. Amen. And helps to remember my sins. It is against God's law to forget the good God and my duties to him to say my prayers brad badly or not to pray at all. To use the Lord's name in a way that is wrong. To swear without reason. To swear something false. On Sunday to work or miss mass without cause. To talk or not pray during mass or to be late, to disobey parents or teachers or state, to be proud or to sulk or to answer them back, to give in to revenge or to anger or hate, to get drunk or to harm others' bodies or souls, alone or with others, to do impure acts, bad reading, bad talking, bad looks or bad dress, to damage or harm 
what belongs to another. To steal it or keep it or not give it back. To gossip, to backbite, tell lies of excuse. To lie about others, to hurt their good name. To consent and give in to bad thoughts or desires. To desire others' goods. To be sad they're not mine. Or eat meat on fast Fridays or not keep the fast. Deliberate laziness, gluttony, pride. And additional Prayers before confession to be said if you have time. Prayer for light. O oh my God, I beg of you to grant me grace to know and hate my sins and grace to be truly sorry for them. Amen. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, judge of the living and the dead. After I die, I must give you an exact account of all my actions. Give me light, I beg of you, to see all the actions of my life which have offended you. Give me humility and sorrow that I may be able to confess them well and be really sorry for them. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for me that I may know my sins, that I may truly be sorry for them and that I may make a good confession. Amen. Prayer for grace to make a good confession. O most loving Lord Jesus Christ, I am not worthy to speak to you by name because I have so often offended you, but receive my confession and spare me. Do not be angry with me, O good Jesus. Do not turn me away from your face, because you have said that you do not desire the death of the sinner, but that he or she be converted and live. Spare me, O most kind Jesus, who died on the cross in order to save sinners. Have mercy on me, O most gracious Lord, and do not refuse my humble sorrow, because I confidently hope in your great mercy. You have given me this desire to return to you with increased love in my soul. And I know that you will finish this work by giving me the grace of making a good confession. Amen. A prayer for contrition. My crucified Jesus, by your bloody sweat and agony in the garden, by your cruel scourging at the pillar, by your crowning with thorns, by your three hours agony on the cross, by your five most precious wounds, grant me the grace of a deep and heartfelt sorrow for my sins. Amen. Mary, my mother, by all the pains that I have ever caused your loving heart, obtain for me true sorrow for my sins. Amen. O blessed Peter, by the tears of sorrow you shed for denying our dear Lord. Obtain for me the grace of a deep sorrow for my sins. Amen. O blessed Magdalene, by the deep sorrow and burning love that filled your heart as you knelt at the feet of Jesus, obtain for me a lasting sorrow for my sins. Amen. O holy penitent thief, who received the grace of sorrow and forgiveness at the last moment of your life, as you hung on the cross, 
beside your divine master. Obtain for me a true and deep sorrow for my sins. Amen. A prayer for mercy. Show me, O Lord, your mercy and delight my heart with it. Let me find you whom I seek with such longing. Behold, I'm like the man or woman whom the robbers seized and beat and left half dead on the road to Jericho. Jesus Christ, kind-hearted Samaritan, come to my aid. Amen. I am the lost sheep wandering in the desert. Seek after me, O good shepherd. Bring me home again to your fold. Do with me according to your will, so that I may abide with you all the days of my life and praise you for all eternity with all those who are with you in heaven. Amen. The prayer of St. Jerome that was. When you know your sins, say the I confess slowly and also a few times the act of contrition. During your confession, remember that it is because of the death of Christ on the cross that your sins can be forgiven so easily in confession because he has suffered the real and full punishment for your sins. Make your confession and listen to the priest for instruction and for your penance. Say your act of contrition as though you were kneeling in front of the cross on Calvary, watching our Lord die for you and hearing his voice forgive you. And after confession, O God the Father, I thank you for having forgiven my sins. Amen. O God the Son, dear Saviour, I thank you for having died for me and for having given me the sacrament of penance to enable me to get rid of my sins. Amen. O God, the Holy Ghost, I thank you for the grace you have given me of making this confession well and of coming with your gifts and graces into my soul. Amen. My God, from now on I want to love you and keep you in my soul. Help me to love you more and more. Help me to avoid sin in the future, so that I may never offend you again. Amen. I know my own weakness. I know that if I'm left to myself, I will fall again soon. But I trust in the strength of your grace and help. Without you, I can do nothing. But with you, I can do all things. Help me always by your grace. Amen. O Mary, my dearest mother, and all the angels and saints, help me to thank God for all his graces to me, and help me that I may never leave him again by sin. Amen. Act of Thanksgiving. O oh, thank you, my God, for having pardoned me. How worthy you are of my love. May I never offend you again. Mary, my mother, and all you angels and saints, praise and thank the Lord for his infinite goodness towards me, a poor sinner. Amen. Act of sorrow and love. O oh God, my Father, I have sinned before you. I'm not worthy to be called your son or daughter. O oh Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Have mercy on me because of your greatness and because your love, of your love. Forgive me my sins. I love you, my God. Even though I have sinned, you know that I love you. You are the God in my heart and the God who is my choice forever. I will always keep your law because it is yours and you are my God. Amen. The prayer of St. Thomas Aquinas for holiness of life. O merciful God, grant that I may always do your will. 
perfectly in all things. May it be my desire to work only for your honour and glory. May I rejoice in nothing except what leads to you. May I desire nothing that leads away from you. May all passing things be as nothing in my eyes. May all that is yours be dear to me. And may you, my God, be dear to me above all things. May I desire nothing apart from you. May all joy have no importance for me without you. May all effort and work delight me when it is for you. Make me, O Lord, obedient without complaint, poor without regret, patient without murmur, humble without pretense, joyful without foolishness, and truthful without disguise. Give me, O God, an ever-watchful heart, which nothing can ever draw away from you. Give me a noble heart, which no unworthy love can ever draw down to the t- mire. Give me an upright heart, which no evil can bend. Give me an unconquerable heart, which no trouble can crush. Give me a heart full of love for you, which no bad love can claim for its own. Give me, O God, understanding to know you, perseverance to seek you, and wisdom to find you. Give me a life which will please you, and a hope which will unite me to you when I die. Amen. St. Gertrude's Act of Resolution O Almighty God, And most merciful God, according to your most tender mercy, you have received me back once more after so many times that I have gone astray from you. I give you thanks with all the strength of my soul for this and all other mercies, graces and blessings given to me. I throw myself down at your sacred feet and I offer myself to you to be yours for evermore. Let nothing in life or death ever separate me from you. I am sorry for all the sins of my past life. I promise again what was promised in my baptism. From this moment, I give myself wholly to your love and service. Grant that for the time to come I may hate sin more than death itself and to avoid all such occasions and company which have led me unhappily into sin. I promise to do this with the help of your divine grace without which I can do nothing. I beg your blessing on these my resolutions. O Lord, for without you I am nothing but misery and sin. Amen. Short spoken prayers. Wash me fully from my all my sins, O sweetest Jesus, that I may be worthy to live in your heart all the days of my life. Saint Bonaventure. Amen. O heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Though I fear all things from my weakness, I hope all things from your mercy. Sacred heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. Sweetest Jesus, hide me in your sacred heart. Do not permit me ever to be separated from you. Defend me from the temptations of the devil. Lord Jesus Christ, deliver me from all my sins and from every evil. Make me keep your commandments and never allow me to be separated from you. Let you, O Lord, in your mercy, make up whatever faults there have been in this confession and give me grace 
to be truly sorry for my sins, both now and always, through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. I think I'll leave it there because it's going to be in Latin and English and we can do them another time. So God bless you all. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, I will do the um, after sacred reading of sacred um, scripture prayer. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you have spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture. Make these words a living reality in my life, a constant guide, a lamp for my feet, and a light to my path. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, guide us, work in us with your gifts, so that your presence may be shown, and we may serve in different ways for the good of all. Amen. Spirit of the living God, you alone search out everything, even the depths of God's intentions. Remain with us always, that we may know all that God has freely bestowed on us, that we may rightly judge and value all things. Amen. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may put to death all sinful thoughts and actions. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may live as God's child. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may be free from slavery to sin. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may pray and cry out, Abba, Father. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may possess the inheritance of grace that awaits me. Amen. Come, Spirit of Truth, and lead me, lead us to the whole truth. Speak to us of Jesus, so that we may speak of him to others. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and help us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we should. Intercede for us, so that the one who sees into our hearts and knows our thoughts may hear our prayers. Amen. Glorious Father, give us the Holy Spirit to make us wise, so that we may come to know you, enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know the hope to which you have called us, the rich blessings you have promised, and how great is your power at work in those who believe. Amen. Lord God, fill us with knowledge of your will. Through the wisdom and spiritual understanding your Spirit bestows on your faithful ones, so that we may conduct ourselves in a worthy manner, be fruitful in every type of work, and do always what is pleasing to you. Amen. God bless you all the rest of your Friday afternoon, night, evening, morning, and your weekend, and have a wonderful time. Be blessed and holy. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. We are redeemed, and that should make you happy. So I'm now going to upload that, and hopefully, maybe, because I'm going for the Latin Mass in the morning, I hope nothing worse ever happens to I'm, I'm going back to the guest room that it really, it still, it still hurts there on the back. It's still, according to my neighbour and friend, it looks horrible. <laughs> but it is, it's improving. So I think I'll pick the other bed tonight. So I'll be back recording tomorrow the mass readings and hopefully the Bible in one year. And I hope to do some more of the book, more of Jesus, hungry for more of Jesus, because I think we all are. God bless and thank you so much. And bless all your loved ones. I'll turn this off.